Good evening, Guadalupe. How are you today? Good evening, Guadalupe. How are you today? Good evening, Cindy. How are you today? Good evening. I'm good. How are you? I'm just fine. Thanks for asking. Very good. How was your long weekend? Well, it was interesting because I went to the street a lot. <laughs> I went oh. to visit my friends and family. Ah, you went to visit your uh, extended family. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Did you go to the uh, cemetery? No, really. Maybe another time because I think there's a lot of people and I have two kids, so I want to take care of them. Yeah, that usually happens. There's a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Hello, Guadalupe. How are you? So, uh, have you been working on the platform, Cindy? Yes. Did you finish section two? Yes, I have already finished. Okay, and the scores are a hundred? Sorry? And what are the scores in section one? What was the score? Oh, um, I don't remember. Remember? But, uh, Yes. And the and the number one, I think that I need twenty points to reach the the hundred percent. But remember that on each on each uh, knowledge check, you can do it again and again, and you yeah, can. I, I did it again, but it doesn't change the score. I don't know why. It didn't change the score. Mm. Okay. And the final score, I have 24%, but I only need the section number four and five and the final exam. You did the final exam too? No, not yet. Okay. Yeah, because it's it's too soon. Yeah, you can do the you can do the midterm. Some people have some people have done all the knowledge checks, all the homeworks for each section, and they also have done the midterm and the final. Okay, but uh, uh, I knew that you can redo the knowledge check and improve your your grade okay so yeah. let me see let me check real quick here and do you have a full-time job uh okay. well i i am full with classes okay oh really all day have you all day, all day, uh, from eight to twelve, wow. I work uh, for school. And oh, wow. <laughs> from uh, one to five, I work uh, with another Insa for a supplier. Oh, okay. are you teacher? Yeah, so I'm very busy, and then I come here from yeah. from eight to ten. Now, uh, in the platform. Under one name is is your 
What is your name in the platform? Cindy Lisbeth Nieto. Cindy Lisbeth Nieto. Let me look for you. I have done the number four, section number four. I just need to do five and final exam. Okay, let me see, Cindy. I'm looking for your... How rare. I can find you in the platform. Really? <laughs> yes. I can find you here. I can. Are you sure that you have you are under the name of Cindy? Yes, take a look. Um, let me see. Uh -huh. Cindy Lisbeth Nieto, but I can't find you. Let me let me see. Can you see it? Yeah, I can right see here? it. Yeah, I can My see name. it. And this is all the sessions. Okay, can you show me? Can you show me the graphs? Again, please. Good evening, uh, Lily. How are you? Hi, teacher. Fine, thank you. Okay. There we go. Good. Okay. So, uh, so, so look at this uh, number one. Number one. What was the score? That is like ninety some, right? Yeah. This. And I already take the. What is this? The the midterm. No, this is the, let me see. SW, AVG, I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, that's, uh, that's homework average. This is the average. Ah, okay. The, this is the, the average homework. of the homework. Uh -huh. So you have 79% um, so far. And this is the midterm. So you are okay. You are okay. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I don't know why you have 79%. Ah, because you haven't done the other homework. Okay. So you haven't done all the homework checks yet. Okay. Oh. You have to finish. You have to finish all the homeworks and then you're going to have the average, which is oh. okay. But you are okay. Eleonora, how are you today? Turn on your microphone, Eleonora. What happened? We can hear you, Eleonora. Okay, guys, so let's get started, okay? Now, uh, I'm going to review this real quick uh, can you see what is on the screen the direct questions do you remember yeah the direct questions okay very good so a direct questions 
are the direct questions are the normal questions that we can ask friends, family members, and people who we know well. You can form direct questions using the, the model that you know. Where is the bathroom? Okay, now, uh, indirect questions are a little more formal and polite. We use them when talking to a person we don't know very well or in professional situations. And their form is a little different. Example of a, an indirect question is, could you tell me where the bathroom is? Now, so these are expressions that introduce indirect questions, okay? And where is the market street is the direct question. Could you tell me where the market street is? Now, direct question, what time does the bank open? Do you know what time the bank opens? So in indirect questions, we don't use the auxiliary verb do or does or did. Also, you can see that the verb is open in indirect question and opens in the indirect question. So what do we do? Okay, so when we have simple present, when we have auxiliary do and does, we eliminate the do, only eliminate the do. When, he, when we have question with does, we eliminate the does and inflect inflect the, the, the verb, all right? When we have questions only we do, we only eliminate the do, that's all. But when uh, the questions are with us, we add S to the main verb, okay? So why did you move to Europe? This is in the case of the past. I was wondering why you moved to Europe. Well, we eliminate the did and we place the past tense of the verb, of the main verb, as in this case, moved. Okay, in the past, because the auxiliary is in the past. Okay. Now, how has him, okay. How much does this motorcycle cost? We say that we eliminate the does, and we ask, we add to cost the inflection, the S or the ES, okay? Now, can you finish the project by tomorrow? Will it be possible for you to finish, well, will it be possible for you to finish the work by tomorrow? And we can use also the can. Okay, can we change the meeting to Thursday? Is there any chance and we change this? We can. We can change the meeting to Thursday, that's all, okay? Subject and auxiliary. Okay, now when we have the verb be, is, are, are, or it could be in the past, was and where. For example, is he Spanish? So we change the verb after the subject. Can you tell me if he is Spanish? The present continue, is the restaurant closing now? Can you tell me if the restaurant is the subject? So I change it after the subject. If the restaurant is closing. With the, past, with the past simple, with the verb be, was he late for the meeting? Can you tell me if he was late for the meeting? Notice that all of these are yes and no questions. And because they are yes and no questions, we need the... Okay, we need the if, because they are yes and no questions. Yes and no direct questions use if in indirect question. Does Tom like Italian food? Do you know if? Then I eliminate the does. If Tom likes and add the S to the verb, that is because it's does. And then the rest remains the same. The same. 
Are your parents join, uh, joining us for dinner? Could you tell me if your parents are joining us for dinner? Since the subject is your parents, I place the auxiliary verb after the subject. Do they speak English? When I have do, the only thing that I have to do is eliminate the do. I was wondering if they speak English. So the only thing that I have to do is eliminate the do. Okay. Do you plan on traveling this summer? I like to know, and because he's suggesting a question, I like to know if, and then I eliminate the do, if you plan on traveling this summer. Now, when we have double H questions, then we have to use the double H question and we don't use if. Why is he unhappy? Can you tell me why he, and then I place is after he, why he is unhappy? When is the restaurant closing? Can you tell me when the restaurant is closing? Why was he late for the meeting? Can you tell me why he, the subject, was late for the meeting? What were you doing at 3 p.m.? Can you tell me what the subject, you, were doing at 3 p.m.? Is that clear? Okay, now here. Uh, he asked me, David asked me, Okay, now here, let's use, can you tell me, okay? In all, in all of them, we are going to use, can you tell me, okay? Or could you tell me? Okay, so what is number one? Could you tell me? What is number one, uh, Eleonora? Could you tell me? Eleonora, are you there, Eleonora? Cindy, could you tell me? If you live with your family? If you live with your family. Very simple. Okay, we say, because he's suggesting no question, we use the if, and we only eliminate the do. Okay, and because it's a question, we ended up with a question mark. Okay, very good. Now, Guadalupe, what is number two? Um, Let's use the same expression. Cool. Could you borrow me your love mower? Wait, wait, wait. Now, the expression to introduce the uh, indirect question is going to be the same. Okay. Would you? Could. Could you uh, tell no. me? Uh, if you if... borrow if you now the auxiliary is can can i i uh, know and if i right because the subject is i so this is what i have to change guadalupe if uh -huh. i yeah. if i can borrow your lawnmower your lawnmower. Okay. Could you tell me if I can? That's all the change that I'm going to do. If I can. Okay. Okay. Good. Very good. Okay. Let's see. Eleonora, do you speak English? 
Let's use the same one. Cool. You tell me. Could you tell me? If. If. Turn on, turn on your microphone, Eleonora. Turn on your microphone. Uh -huh. So if you speak English. Okay? So the only thing that we are going to eliminate is the do. Will you tell me if you speak English? That's it. Okay, let's see. Maria Reyes. Is that your cat? Let's use the same expression. Let me know if you is that your cat. Okay, very good. Let me know if that, that is cat. if is that, that is cat. your cat. Okay, very good. Excellent. Okay, and because we use let me know is not a question, we ended up with a period. Okay, excellent. Mario Marenko, what about the next one? Could you tell me if you can help me fix my fences? Uh, could you tell me? If can you help me, if you Wait. can help me, uh huh. If you can help me, if you can help me fix my fences, fix my fences. Okay, great. And because you asked the in, the the introductory expression is a question, so we ended up with a question mark. Very good. Next, uh, Irving Magandi. Teacher, excuse me. Yes. Um, do you know what I mean? Fences is. Ah, fences is cercas. My okay. fence and mi cerca, me. Okay. Thank you. That is my my fence. Okay. Now. Teacher, uh, I, I have a question. Yes. I'm presently connect, and I don't know which is the difference between cool. And let me. Ah, ah, remember that we say that to introduce, to introduce uh, indirect questions, we can use all these expressions. Could you tell me? Do you know? I was wondering. Do you have any idea? I like to know. Will it be possible? Is there any chance? Okay, so these are phrases or expressions that introduce indirect question. So when you say, let me, let me know, is also a way to introduce a question. Is that clear? Okay. Okay. So it's just uh, an introductory expression for indirect questions. Okay, okay. Irving, let's go with the next one. Um. Could you tell me if you're listening to me? Could you tell me if you are listening to me? Okay, very good. Okay, could you tell me if you are listening to me? Very good, great. Lily de Escalante, what is the next one? Could you tell me? Could you tell me? If you. If you. No. If, no, if. If I. If I. If I, if I, I, if I that's correct. If I. If I can talk to you for a minute. If I can talk to, to you. you for a minute. For a minute. Excellent. Very good. For a minute. Great. That is very good. Okay, there you go. Great. 
Okay. Eh, eh, In... Carla Rodríguez, the next one, please. And could you tell me? Could you tell me? Uh, are you a foreign? Wait, but remember, when is a yes and no question, what do we need? When is a yes and no question, what do we need? If. If. If, that is correct. If. Can you tell, uh, me, can you if, tell me if you, if you are, are a foreign, foreign? I don't know what, what foreign, foreign mean. A foreigner means uh, extranjero. 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 That is correct. A foreigner. A foreigner. In this, in this one, we can use um, I wondering. Yes. We can use any of this, any of these expressions, any of this. Will it be possible? Is there any chance? I'd like to know. Do you have any idea? I was wondering, do you know? Can, could you tell me? Can you tell me? And there are many more. There are many more that introduce indirect questions. Yes, mm -hmm. of course. Okay, now. Uh, take a look that all of these are yes and no questions. Yes and no questions. Okay. All of these are yes and no questions. Now, the next set is double H questions. Okay. So take a look. How are you? In this one, we are not going to use if because all of them begin with double H words okay can you see how where etc so in this case we don't use if now number one can you tell me how you wear this one is can you tell me how you are that's all i'm going to do is that clear very good can you tell me how you are? Excellent. Okay, let's see. Number two. <laughs> eh, Eleonora, can you turn on your microphone? No. Okay, Cindy, the next one. Cindy, Cindy, are you there, Cindy? Yeah. Could you tell me where do you where do you park your car? No, can could you tell me? And remember, we have to eliminate this. Where do you park? Could you tell me? Could you tell me where? The car. Where you park your car? Exactly. Okay. Could you tell me where, where you park your car? You park your car. Okay. Remember, we use the double H word, and as a rule, we eliminate the do. And when it's does. We add an S or ES or IES to the main verb. Okay, Cindy? Hello, Cindy? Cindy, yes. you yes. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, now let's see uh, who is next. Lily, what is the next one? Where are you from? Good. You tell me. Could you tell me? Where? Where? Where are you from? Where you are, are from. from? Where you are from? 
Okay, remember, we switch the verb to be and we place it after you, after you. Okay. That is correct, very good, okay? Now, Antonio, the next one, please. Uh -huh. Again, please. Could you tell me who you are? Could you tell me how, how, you are? how old you are? Perfect. Very good. And that's it. We got it. Okay. The next one, Tatiana. What should be the next one? Okay, could you tell me how often you take out the trash? Could you tell me how often, and we eliminate the do, you take out, take out, take the, out trash. the trash, the trash, perfect, and question. Mark. Okay, very good. Could you tell me how often you take out the trash? That is great, okay? Now the next one, Abdulio. Julio Linares, are you there, Julio? Okay, let's see. So we're gonna go back to Lily. What is the next one, Lily? Could you tell me? Could you tell me? Where? Where? Where, where is? No, um, because where is, is, no, because where is, is like a direct question. We have to place is after the subject. Could you tell me where, could you tell where me where is, the nearest bank is? The nearest bank is. Okay, and remember the subject is the nearest bank. The nearest bank is the subject. So we place the is after the subject. Okay, is that clear, Lily? Hello, Lily? Lily, Lily, are you? Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, very good. Okay, Maria Reyes. Yes, teacher. Okay, number seven. When is your birthday? Could you let me know. Okay, it could be when okay, but birthday let's is. let's give let's give Maria Reyes the chance. Okay, go ahead, Maria. Okay. Maria? Could you tell me when your birthday is? Could you tell could you me? Tell me? When, when your, your birthday, birthday is. Very good. Is. Okay, and I can also say, okay, let me ask you when your birthday is. It's also possible. No problem. Okay, let's see. Mario Marenko, the next one. Mario Marenko. Could you tell me? Could you tell me? How many? How many? How many? 
How many children have you? No children. And we say when we have do, the only thing is eliminate the do. Eliminate. Uh -huh. How many you children have. you have? How many children you have? Exactly. That's all. Can you tell me how many children you have? And that's it. Okay, where do you work? Uh, Obdulio, are you ready now, Obdulio? Yes, teacher, I'm ready. Okay, where do you work? Uh, could you tell me where you work? Uh -huh. Could you tell me where you work? What did we do? We only eliminate the do. do. Okay, we only eliminate the do. Could you tell me where you work? It's excellent. Okay, very good. But we have more. Okay, now here, which is correct? Uh, Irving Magandi, which is correct? Can you tell me? Could you tell me? Uh, is the where the bathroom is where the bathroom is that is correct very good okay now the next one uh, Antonio yes is the number uh, number two number two. two. Yeah, but complete. Would you mind? Uh, do you mind tell me, uh, tell how, me long? How, long, how long the lunch break is? Uh -huh. How long the, the lunch break is? Right. That is correct. Very good. The next one, Tatiana. Hello, Tatiana. Are you there, Tatiana? Yes. Okay. Uh, Do you know? Do you know if the managing director is, is in today? Uh -huh. Do you know if the managing director is in today? Very good. The next one, Carla Rodriguez. i like to know. I'd like to know if you want if you want me to work on Saturday. Uh -huh. I like to know if you want me to work on Saturday. Very good. Now let's see. So we're going to start all over again. Okay. So that means beginning with a, a, with a Guadalupe, number four, number five. Number five, could you tell me how the copier works? How you tell me how the photocopier works? This is correct. This is correct. Okay, very good. <laughs> now, the next one, Irving Magandi. Okay. Uh, uh, um, have you any idea how this program works. Excellent, very good. Have you had, have you any idea how this program works? Okay, very good. Antonio, what is the next one? <laughs> I like to know, I like to know how much uh, lunch in the concept cost. Uh -huh, in the canteen. Uh -huh. I, I like to know how much Lunch in the canteen cost. Oh. Very good, very good, Antonio. Maria Reyes, number eight. I was wondering if I could leave early today. If I could leave early today, that is correct. Very good. Okay, excellent. Uh, Carla Rodriguez, now change the direct question to indirect question. Where does she play tennis? Now, remember here, I encourage you. I encourage you. 
we have all these introductory expressions. Will you tell me? Do you know? I was wondering. Do you have any idea? I like to know. Will it be possible? Is there any chance? So here, you is your option, if your option to use any of those. Not only could you tell me, okay? Okay. Okay, so you can use any of those. Okay, so number one is Maria Reyes. Ah, Carla Rodriguez, I'm sorry. Okay. Do you have any idea? Do you have any idea? Where she played tennis? Where he, and here we need to add the S. Where he plays tennis. He plays. Okay, remember when we, we eliminate the dust? we have to add the S to the member, okay? And because it's a question, question. Excellent, excellent. Very good, Carla. Okay, now, uh, Cindy, what is the next one? Cindy, Cindy, are you there, Cindy? Um... I would like to know if he lives in Paris. I'd like to know if he lives in Paris. Okay, very good. I eliminate the does, and because he's suggesting no question, I use if, then I eliminate the, the does, and I have to add S to the member. Excellent, uh, Nancy, Cindy. Okay, very good. The next one, uh, Mario, is she hungry? Could you let me know if she is hungry? Could you let me know? If she is hungry. Okay, very good, excellent. And because it's a question, could you let me know? I ended up with a question mark. Okay, Obdulio, what is this? Obdulio, Obdulio, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay. I was wondering. I was wondering. What this is. What this is, very good. What this is. Excellent, very good. Okay. Okay, now let me see. Let's go back. Can you hear me now? Yes. 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 Okay. Very good. Okay, uh, let me see. We're about to finish. Okay, now uh, who is next? Uh, Cindy. <laughs> Cindy, Cindy, are you there? Yeah. Um... I would like to know if they work in Canada. If they work in Canada. Okay, very good. It's perfect. Ah, and here, period. Because, and here is period. Okay, because it begins the statement with a, with a phrase, not with a question. 
Okay. Very good. Uh, Guadalupe, the next one. Uh, I like to know where John and Luke meet. Where John and Luke meet. Okay, very good. And not a question mark, only a period because it's an expression. Okay, very good. Excellent. Okay, Tatiana, the next one, please. Okay. Do you know if he is a lawyer? Do you know lawyer? if he is a lawyer? Very good. And that is a question, so I ended up with a question mark. Uh, and it's missing here, do you know? Do you know if he is a lawyer? Very good. The next one, uh, Obdulio. Hey, let me know. Okay, let me know. When the party is. When the party is. And period only because we begin with a phrase, not a question. Okay, very good. Obdulio, uh, that was Obdulio. Lily, what is the next one, Lily? Could you tell me? Could you tell me? If... If... If, if they often. If they often, very good. If they often. Go out. Go out, that is correct. Uh, could you tell me if they often go out? That is totally correct. Okay, very good. Uh, the next one, Antonio. Yes. Tell me what he do, what he do, no, sorry, what he, he did at the week. Okay, now, important That's here, okay, this is what you say. Now, remember that we eliminate the task, but we have to inflect, we have to add the S or ES to this verb. So in this case, what he Thus, okay, at the weekend. Is that clear, Antonio? We eliminate the thus, okay, perfect. But the main verb has to be inflected. So that means adding the S, ES, or IES. So in this case, what he does at the weekend. Is that okay, okay Antonio? Yes, okay, very good. The next one, Maria Reyes. What is the next one? Could you tell me if the children on holiday this week? Could you tell me if the children, if the children? On holiday? No, 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 no. And what happens to the auxiliary verb right here? Are, are, are. Ah, if the children are, are. on holiday, holiday this week. Holiday this week. Okay, very good. Thank you. Teacher. And because it's a question, we put a question mark. Okay, very good. Excellent work. Okay, next. Uh, Mario Marenko. Do you have any idea who is she? Do you have any idea? Any idea who she who, is? Who she is? She. Who she is? Okay, very good. That is correct. 
Do you have any idea who she is? Excellent. Uh, Carla, the next one, please. Um, could you tell me? Could you tell me? Why? 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 Like traveling so much. Ooh, ooh. Remember that the only thing that we are going to elim eliminate is the do. Why you like traveling? Ah, so much? why you like traveling? Traveling so much. Okay, very good. Okay, that is correct. Okay, great. Now, uh, okay, now the rest, uh, you can do it for homework, okay? Okay. Okay, very good. Or uh, I'm not going to write it. I'm just going to listen. Number 14, let me see who's going to be the first one. Uh, Guadalupe, the next one. I'm wondering if uh, Lizzie likes ice cream. I'm wondering if Lizzie likes ice cream. Very good. The next one, Antonio. Her 14. Uh, 15. Okay. Uh, I want to know they are from Chile. Uh -huh, but be, remember that this is a yes and no question. Yes, uh -huh. and, uh, yes and no question requests if. Okay. I want to know if they are from Chile. I want to know if they are from Chile. Very good. The next one, Maria Reyes. Mm. I could I could tell me. No, could you tell were, me? Could you tell me? Could you tell me? Could you tell me, perdón? Could you tell me if where the station is? No, because when we have double H, we don't use if. Will you tell me where the station is? Where? No, no. Ah, where the station is. Okay, very good. Uh, the next one, uh, that was Maria. The next one, Mario Marenko. Could you let me know where you study Chinese? Where you study Chinese. Carla, the next one. Will you tell me where the nearest supermarket is? Very good. Irving, number 19. Okay. Uh, do you know, uh, do you know, do you know, uh, you drink coffee? Uh huh, but it's a yes and no uh, question. Uh -huh. We need if. We need if. if. Uh huh. If. Could, do you know? Uh, do you. If you drink coffee. Exactly. Do you know if you if drink you coffee? Drink coffee. Exactly. Okay, very good. Guadalupe, the next one. Um, could you tell me, uh, if, sorry, I'd like to know if Richard, no. If Richard? Always. Is Rich, if Richard? Uh, I, no, no, I don't know. i confused. Okay, I like to know if Richard, Richard is 
All you have to do is put this is after Richard. If Richard is always late. Uh -huh. Right? Again, again. Come on. I like to I know. Like, I like to know if Richard uh, is always late. Is always late. Okay, very good. Lily, tell me. Tell me. Uh... Tell me what? Her name. What is her name? No, tell me what her name is. Is. It is. Again? Tell me what her name is. Very good. Tatiana, the next one, please. Okay. Please tell me where the cinema is. Where the cinema is. Very good. Obdulio. Uh... I want to know where my documents are. Where my documents are. Very good. The next one. Volunteer. Me. Okay, go. I want uh, you must tell you me. Must tell me you must tell me where your college your college are. Where your colleagues. Repeat after me. Colleagues. College. Colleagues. Co Colleagues. 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 Uh-huh. R. Okay, very good. Next one, volunteer. Me. Go. You want, you want to know what you know about Tom. What you know about Tom. Another volunteer, Tatiana. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know. How much it is? How much it is? Another volunteer, Lily? Can you tell me how much the... No, no does. Remember, how much, we need this. How much cost is? How much? Cost. How it, much? It costs. It, it costs. And we add an S here, remember? How much it costs? Because we eliminated dust. the dust. Okay, so we are an anes. Okay, Guadalupe. Uh, which one? What are you going to do this afternoon? She wants to know. She what? Wants, what? Uh, what do this afternoon? No, 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 no. She wants to know what you you are do this afternoon. Are what you are doing to do, doing this afternoon? No, no, not doing. Going going uh -huh. to this uh -huh. afternoon. She wants to know what you are going to do this afternoon. Okay, oh very good. Now. Remember that I told you that uh, we also have the other, the other uh, section three, remember? Do you have it in hand, section three? In the platform? No, oh, this no. is okay. a document yes. that I sent you today. Yes, I, yes. Okay, so. Please have it ready. This is gonna be for section three and for section four, okay? So we're gonna be using it almost all week, all week, okay? Now, remember, we use too much plus non-count nouns. Too many plus plural count nouns. Enough plus nouns and little plus non-count nouns. Now here, let's see, let's do this together. I couldn't finish the exam because I didn't have uh, enough time. Enough time. Enough time. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Now, number two. I've eaten I haven't ate 
too much I have, cake. I have eaten. I have eaten. I have eaten too much cake. Aha, uh -huh. and you see, we use too much. We don't count nouns, okay? I have eaten too much cake. That is okay. Very good. Now, the next one. There aren't too many parks in Barcelona. Continue. There's? There's nowhere to play. Uh -huh. There aren't too many parks in Barcelona. There's no one. There's no place or there's nowhere to play. Very good. Number four. John's never got never any money. He spent. He spent. Too, too many money. Much money. money. No, 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 not too many. Remember, no, money much. is non-count. It's uncountable. Too much. Uh -huh. Too much money. Exactly. So John's never got any money. He spends. Too much. Too money. much. On computer games. Too much money Depends on computer too much games. money on computer games. That is correct. Number five. There are too many cars here. There's nowhere to park. There are too many cars here. There's nowhere to park. Very good. Number six. There, there are two people coming there, to the party, and there, there are twenty people coming to the for food for everybody. Uh huh. There are twenty people coming to the party, and there, and there isn't, isn't enough. enough food for everybody. Uh -huh. Very good. Now, what is number seven? I think you've done. And now work. And now work. Now you, you look. You look tired, right? I think you've done enough work. You look tired. Very good. Number eight. I, I can't, can't go, go out, out tonight. tonight. I have go I have too go many. Too many. Too much. To, to correct. No, too I much. got. Too can much. Can you count composition. the compositions? Yes. Compositions. I got too, too many, many compositions. compositions to correct. Is mm -hmm. that clear? Yeah. yeah. Yes? Okay. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Okay. Very good. Now, the next one. Let's this tea see. is horrible. You put too much sugar in it. Uh -huh. This tea is horrible. You put too much sugar in it. Very good. Number 10. I don't like living in the city center. Century. There is uh -huh. century. There is too much, too much pollution. There is too much pollution. Pollution is contamination. Okay? Yeah. Okay, very good. Now, we are going to do this exercise and... The rest, exercise three, we are going to do it tomorrow. If, if the weather is okay, because probably tomorrow we could have a lot of rain. I don't know, I hope not. Okay, okay so number one, we're gonna go in order. Mm, Irving, number one, circle the correct words. Try not make. And too much noise. Too much noise. Remember, noise you cannot count. Too much noise. Very good. Number two, Guadalupe. As I don't like it here. There are too many tourists. Too many tourists. Very good. Lily, number three. Wow. Wow, I'm I'm sorry, but it costs too much money. It costs too much money. Very good, Maria Reyes, number four. We do we have enough time? There are too many places to visit. 
There are too many places to visit. Number five, Obdulio. There are too many problems. There are too many problems. Cindy, number six. I think there's too much rain. I think there is too much rain. Very good. Antonio, the next one. Come on. The rally isn't too much time. Come on. There really isn't too much time. Okay, very good. So we're going to do complete the dialogue with too many, too much, or enough. We are going to do only three. One for Tatiana, one for Mario, and one for Carla. Okay? So let's begin. Uh, Antonio, uh, let me see, Tatiana. Where are we going today? Where are we going today? I don't, I don't know. know. There are... Wait, wait, wait. That I is don't Tatiana. know. There that are... is Tatiana. Wait. Okay. Okay. Where are we going today, Tatiana? I don't know. I don't know. There are too many places to choose from. Too many places to choose from. Places to choose from. Lugares para escoger. Mario, Marenko, why don't we go to the Washington Monument? Why don't we go to the Washington Monument? Won't be there. Won't there be? Too many people there. Again, won't there be? Won't there be many people there? Too many people. Too there. many people. Very good. Too many people there. Okay, very good. And Carla, no, it should be okay. Yes, but it costs too much money. But it costs too much money. Okay, guys, we are going to stop right here, okay? Thank you very much for your time. And I will, if everything is okay, if the rain let us have a class tomorrow, we're going to have a class tomorrow, okay? Okay. Thank okay. you very much. Thank you, sir. And I will see you tomorrow. Thank you. Have a wonderful Thank night. We'll see you tomorrow. You okay. Thank and rest you. the okay, last, please. Okay? Bye-bye, teacher. Bye-bye. Have a good night, everyone. Good night, teacher. Too. Good, good night. Bye-bye. Good night. See ya, guys.